We literally just saw an early screening of Monkey Man. You know, I've been talking about it for like the past month. Damn near cried seeing the initial trailer, but we finally saw it. It definitely lived up to my expectations. A plus movie, A plus movie. So what'd you like about it? Well, Dave Patel is really handsome. The cast was phenomenal. I think I was really blown away with the cinematography. It was very artistic, but it was able to showcase a lot of violence with such high quality cinematography and choreography. And then the storytelling elements, like if you want to build on that. Yeah, they didn't structure it like a typical revenge story with just showing the backstory of the main character and his trauma in the beginning and then going into how he plans his revenge. They kind of trickled it in. They trickled his, his post-traumatic stressors and scenes of his memories while he's living his daily life, which I thought was really cool. he gets triggered, then you get a little bit more backstory, how that plays out. Of course, with any revenge plot, you have the montage of the recovery arc as well as the getting stronger arc. And that was really well done. It was something about the way that they pulled into the culture of India. They like really leaned into it in terms of the music, the mythology, the people. The they showcased the beauty of India, but they also showcased they showcased the rougher sides. They like did not hold back at all, showing India in its full breadth. And that's something that I liked. Is like the whole theme is that it was the have and have nots. Yeah, they definitely showed the corruption and how it plays into daily life for the classes of India and all that. At the end of the day, you're going to get a revenge story in this movie, and it was a simple revenge story, but I think there's nothing wrong with that. They showcased it in full force. They didn't hold it anything back. It was simple, back. but it was hard fought. Hard fought. Like, to get through all the different levels of society, he wasn't just like, oh, I'm handsome and I'm just going to walk in, and he was able to infiltrate. No, he had to, like, bargain, fight, use any tool in his arsenal. He's like, I participate in a fight. How can I get this person to want to help me out? Maybe I'll tell him to bet for me. It's just how him utilizing every resource just to get to the next step and to fight for that next opportunity to interface with these individuals. It was so difficult. And speaking of difficult, the action was very visceral. I liked how gritty it was. Not everything was clean. The camera was right close into the action. And with that being said, a lot of the camera takes were very long shots. There wasn't a lot of cutting on the action I really liked, so you got to just see how hard they were fighting, how, like I said, visceral and, and brutal the action was, and I really enjoyed that. That's kind of what I look for when it comes to action movies, and shout out to Dave Patel. He's dealing with like a broken hand and a broken foot and some other injuries while filming the movie, really? so it kind of played into the, the fight scenes themselves because you could see like he was really struggling. Like He was obviously kicking ass, as he should, but it was taking like all of him to just keep going up to the next level to get to the main bad guy and it was a sweet revenge story and I think it's well worth the watch in theaters if you can see it ASAP support Dave Patel because it took all of him to make this movie because he shot it and filmed it during COVID and it had very minimal chance of getting a theatrical release until Jordan Peele saw it. Compared to some Hollywood budget films this film is a lot more artistry and it's like you said that, that grittiness really tells how much blood sweat and tears they put into creating this movie it's showcased in every scene there was no holding back for the artistic vision that they were trying to accomplish and I think they completely executed on it. On top of that, the music choices were really great. I really dug the soundtrack. One thing I noticed when it came to some action scenes, especially in the later half of the movie, was they kind of leaned into just having like a solo instrument play as the action was going on. So I thought that kind of played into just the, the melodramatic scenes of fighting as all this fighting is going on and you have like one instrument playing, which kind of made it feel more serious and more deeper. But then it'll go into like heavy metal or, or hip-hop. I really enjoyed it. This is the complete package for a first-time filmmaker like Dev Patel being able to showcase what he wanted in an action film because, like he said, no one was going to cast him in an action film and he had to shoot his own. And he knocked out the park, I think. So shout-out to Dave Patel for making an awesome movie. Shout-out to Jordan Peele for believing in his vision and getting this theaters. Go watch Monkey Man in and theaters. And all the people that worked on it to create this vision, it was very enjoyable. If you want to see this awesomeness, Monkey Man is in theaters April 5th, this Friday. Go see the theaters with the big theater sound, the big theater screen. And yeah, let us know what you think. Catch you next time.